We get you some breaking news in the search at former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. The judge overseeing the search warrant affidavit has ordered that the redacted version will be unsealed tomorrow. The Justice Department submitted the redactions just today. I want to bring in Chief Investigative Reporter Jonathan Deans to explain further. John. Natalie, news organizations among those asking for the court to release the document to try to get more information about why the FBI conducted that unprecedented search for classified documents at the former president's Florida home. The judge a short time ago said he will release some of the affidavit, but that many lines will be blacked out to protect Justice Department sources and methods in this ongoing investigation. For now, the Mar-a-Lago search warrant affidavit remains secret in its entirety, but the judge in a two-page ruling says some portions will be released by noon tomorrow. The Justice Department wants much of the document to stay sealed with its criminal investigation ongoing into how and why former President Trump took highly classified documents with him to his private home. It's uncommon for a search warrant affidavit to be unsealed this early in an ongoing investigation. But the search of the former president's home is a first and has sparked outcry and debate about the decision to execute that search. The federal magistrate Bruce Reinhardt has said he wants to release what he can in the public interest, but he said redactions will be in place to protect the identities of witnesses, law enforcement agents, and uncharged parties, as well as the direction of the investigation. President Trump does not oppose the release of the document, and he took to social media again today saying he's a victim. Even though I'm as innocent as a person can be, and despite my campaign being spied on by the radical left, the FISA court being lied to and defrauded, all the many hoaxes and scams that were illegally placed on me by very sick and demented people, it looks more and more like the fake news media is pushing hard for the sleaze to do something that should not be done. While Trump claims the search is political at the White House yesterday, President Biden said he had no advance notice about the August 8th Florida search by the FBI. I didn't have any advance notice, none, zero, not one single bit. That search turned up many classified documents, some labeled top secret. While Trump defenders have argued it's not a crime for a former president to hold on to records, even classified ones, the Justice Department is investigating whether Trump or anyone else might have broken the law. Several news organizations, including NBC, among those asking the judge, judge to release as much of the document as possible. We'll see how much is released when the judge releases that redacted affidavit before noon tomorrow.